Today I'm gonna show you how to create this graphic design on PowerPoint. First go to shapes and pick a circle and then drag it over here like this. Then pick a rectangle shape and place it over the middle of the circle. Now select this two, go to format, click on mark shape and subtract. Now go to shape fill and change the color to this and make no outline. Then just Ctrl D to duplicate and move it to here. Now just press Ctrl D 4 times more. To make variation in color, I'm just changing half of this into white. Now select all of these and group them together by pressing Ctrl G. Now pick a freeform shape. This shape actually makes a fixed point where you click. So I'm just clicking and moving my mouse pointer to get a custom shape. Now we have our first custom shape. So go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Like this way we have to repeat the steps 5 times more to get the complete shade of the van. So I'm just picking the freeform shape and making custom rectangles and changing their color. To save your time, I'm doing this little bit faster here. Make sure you pick the flat colors, otherwise it will not look like this. I have given the link of our website where you can get awesome flat colors. And also you can download my template for free, here you will get all the colors that I have used. Now our shade is almost ready. So select all of these and group them together by pressing Ctrl G. Then again go to shapes and pick a trapezoid and drag it over here like this and rotate this one. Then I'm just resizing it and placing in the exact middle of the shade. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this and go to shape outline, make no outline. Again go to shape and pick the line shape and place it over here like this. Then go to format, click on shape outline and make it white and increase the weight. Then Ctrl D to duplicate and again shape outline and decrease its weight. Now select this two line shape and Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here. Now press Ctrl D several times more. After that select all the line shapes and place those in the middle of the trapezoid. Now duplicate the trapezoid shape and place it over the previous one. Then go to shape, pick a rectangle and drag it over here like this. Then select this two, go to mark shape and make subtract. Then click on this small icon and go to fill and from here we just need to change the color to black and increase the transparency. It will give a shadow effect. Now again duplicate the trapezoid shape but make it smaller in height but wider than the previous one. Now go to format, click on shape fill and pick this color. Now again pick a line shape and place it over here. Then go to format, click on shape outline and make it white and then increase the weight. Then again go to shape, pick a circle and drag it over here like this. Now go to format, click on shape fill and make it white and then make no outline. Now duplicate this circle and make it little bit smaller and place it over here. As we have less space here so we have to resize the shade and the body part a little bit. Now again go to shapes and pick a trapezoid then drag it over here like this. Now rotate this one and place it over here. Then right click and send it to back. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color and make no outline. Then resize this one and place over here. Now again go to shapes and pick a hollow circle and drag it over here. Now drag this yellow dot to make it thinner. And now make it little bit bigger. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color and go to shape outline, make no outline.
Now again go to shapes and pick a rectangle. Then just drag it over here like this. And place it in the middle of the hollow circle. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. And make no outline. Then make it a little bit bigger and place it exact middle of the hollow circle. Now just Ctrl D to duplicate and rotate like this and repeat this process few times more to make a wheel. Now pick a circle and place it in the exact middle of the hollow circle. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Now again go to shapes and pick the hollow circle again and drag it over here like this. Then place it over the circle and make it a little bit bigger. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color and make no outline. Now pick this arc shape and drag it over here by holding ctrl shift and then drag this yellow dot and make a circle. Now make it little bit bigger and place over the hollow circle. Then drag this yellow dots and resize it. Then go to format, click on shape outline and make it white. And then again shape outline and increase the weight. Now select all of these and group them together by pressing ctrl G. Then again go to shapes and pick a rectangle. Then drag it over here like this. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Now rotate this one and send it to back. Then resize this one and rotate a little bit more. Then just Ctrl D to duplicate and place it over here and send it to back. Now rotate this one also and place it over here. Then again go to shapes and pick a rectangle shape and drag it over here like this. Now resize it and rotate this one. Then place it over here and make it little bit smaller. Now again go to shapes and pick a double corner rectangle shape. Then drag it over here and move this yellow dot. Then make it little bit bigger. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. And go to shape outline, make no outline. And again go to shape fill and change the color of this and make no outline. Now resize this one and ctrl D to duplicate. Then place it over here and change the color from shape fill. Then make it like this and place it over the previous shape. Then again pick the double corner rectangle shape and make it like this. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Now rotate this one and place it over here. Duplicate this one three times more cause it will add a better effect in our ice cream. Now select only the upper parts of our ice cream and then go to format, click on march shape and make them union. Now I will add some white circles over here. It will ensure a better effect of our ice cream. Then select all of these and group them together by pressing Ctrl G. Now just duplicate the ice cream three times more and place over here. Now I will just change the color of the upper part of our each ice creams. Now select all the ice creams and group them together. Then place it over here and pick a double corner rectangle and drag it over like this. Then go to format, click on shape outline and make it white. And then again shape outline and increase the weight. Then go to shape fill and make it white. Then click on the small icon and increase the transparency from here. Now at last select these two and group them together. And our ice cream van is ready. You can download this template for free. I have given the link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video make sure like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.